Hi. Welcome back to the table. Today we're gonna be looking at the 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 first uh, the, the the first uh, Star Wars uh, game that we got the vintage versions they started reprinting. This one is uh, is great from the Death Star. In this game, we're basically trying to collect some items and escape the Death Star via the Millennium Falcon, and uh, hopefully having Luke take care of uh, Darth Vader there and destroy the Death Star. Uh, so let's head on to the table and see how this one plays. Hi, well, here's the game. Uh, again, it's a spin and move game. These are the spots where you'll be moving. Uh, you'll be following through the connections. Your goal of the game is to get your two figurines to the Millennium Falcon spot. Once they're both there, you will move them together to the Rebel base. Uh, the way the, the spots work, the blue spots, you will be collecting event cards. She'll read one right now. Blast a barrier with your blaster. Move ahead too. So she would blast a barrier, she would move too. So in that case, she would move her marker too. There are some cards in there that will move you to these yellow spots. DS4, 3, 5, DS6. That's a way for you to jump around the board. In order to get to the Millennium Falcon, you have to have collected a tractor beam and a control room card. When you have to land here by exact count, you'll collect that card and collect that card. These are the cards up here. You have to collect that card and that card. Once you have those cards, you'll be able, and you have your two characters here, you'll move up this way. The way this way works is, once you have both your figures here, you will just keep one, and then we'll move up the, up the way. You'll spin, you can move forward and diagonal. In order to get to the rebel base, you have to fight a TIE fighter. You can't just just go one, two, three all the way in. Uh, you can fight TIE Fighter if you win by spinning that. It'll tell you win or lose. You win, you move forward. Spin again. You lose, you go back. If you happen to win, 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 win. In one swift move, you can get to the Rebel base. We'll go ahead and play a few turns here. And she will go first. Two. Oh, already getting an event card. Captured by Imperial Stormtroopers, which is the detention block. Detention block, once you go there, you have to spin, you have to get a three. If you don't get a three after three tries, you automatically get out. There are some cars that'll let you get out of the detention block. Hope you want to get you out of the detention block. Some cars will push you, put you back to the trash compactor, your starting spot. And like the card she just got, some cars will send you to the detention block. Here we go. Three. Uh, 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 two, three, I'll get one. And da, 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 da. Hold on, hold on. Win a lightsaber duel with Darth Vader. Move ahead, three. Uh, 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 one, two, three. Yes, sir. Once you hit the yellow spots, you have to stop. I roll a spin a two. Spin a two? What do you got? Spin a three. It'll be two tries to spin a three. So you didn't make it this time. It took me two tries. I get Yeah, but, but one turn, you have to spin. Two. Now, do you want to keep spinning here or you want to move that guy? Two. You move this guy, moves two. Move him out. Two. Another event card. Fire blocks move your way. Fire blocks your way. Move back two. Move back two. Woo! My turn. Three. Let's start moving this one out. One, two, three. An event card. Ah, oh, your blaster misfire. Move back three. Man, all the way back to the trash compactor. One. Just you were doing this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, you didn't make it, so this one, now you make it out. So, so uh, just go ahead and spin to get out. Kay. Two. Which one do you want to move? Um... All right. And one for me. I will move this one. One. Maybe I'll just skip around here. Stormtroopers in a corridor. Lose a turn. Oh, well, that means you get two. And I lose my turn. Hey, yes, one. And I get what is that? That's a line. Two. The famous line. Two. Two, 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 two. And get up. And the that's here. And this one is Stormtroopers in a corridor. Lose another turn. So go ahead and take two turns. One. And you're gonna move. Oh, another event. Blast a barrier with your blaster. Move ahead two. Storm 
stormtroopers in corridor. In corridor. Losing two turns. Turn. So I will go ahead and take my two turns. Let's just say we are up here. Let's just speed up the game. She happens to have her two there. And I'm getting close to mine. She'll remove one, and then it would be her turn, and she'd have to move. So she could move three, and she's going to move straight to a TIE fighter and try to fight him. She wins. She goes to that one. Well, you could move forward if you wanted. Which way did you want? So then it'd be my turn. That's three. Uh, one. You have to move by a sack count here. So basically, again, like most of these games, you're just looking for that one now. Her turn. She moves back one. She fights a TIE fighter. She loses. She goes back. My turn, two, I can't move. So your turn, two, you move two. And then I would go, and I would get one, so I finally got mine in, and then her turn. And you're moving two. And you win. And she made it to the rebel base. And I was stuck down here because I couldn't get that one. Again, that's the problem with the spin and move games. You can house rule them uh, to make it a little bit quicker there. I did find a while ago, I believe it was on BGG. Somehow on my box, I had this in there. So I'm sure it's something I printed out. Uh, how to make this game uh, more of a gamer's game. Where one player would play the Imperial side. One would play the Rebels. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works. A lot of rules in here, but it's in here. I don't know how I found it But I'm pretty sure it's on the BGG site. So we'll go on top and uh, we'll let you know what we thought about the game Well, here we are. We just finished the game. Uh, this is Escape from Death Star the one of the first Star Wars vintage games uh, that they started remaking again a spin and move on um, this one again It's great for for younger kids. It helps them count and you can strategize and figure out how you're going to move your two characters uh, so they can reach the Millennium Falcon as fast as possible at the same time possibly. So you can escape and find the Rebel base. This one comes with the uh, Grand Moff Tarkin figure. Again, nobody's going to pull that out and play with it. And uh, I like the game. Uh, did you like it? Yeah. I knew she liked it. Why did you like this thing? Because it's Star Wars. Yeah, we liked anything Star Wars here. Uh, again, great for kids, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.